conservation is becoming an important issue on campus. The university is taking steps starting with low flow appliances in the bathrooms such as showers, sinks, and toilets. This is a chance for us to investigate student water use on campus and get their perspective on these new low flow appliances. Here's what they had to say. If everybody had a uh, once a day. Okay. Once or twice a day. Once, once. One day. Coffee and shower once a day. Like California. Ten to fifteen minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ah, uh, like fifteen minutes. A bushy, bushy blonde here. Serving USA. I turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Nice. Time? Yes, yeah, every time. Um, sometimes. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. I don't, I don't really remember. Is exactly. it is it a priority to turn off the water for you or not? I usually try to think too. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. Um, occasionally. Do you make it like a conscious effort? To yeah, turn I usually off the water? do. I try to turn it Plus off. I'm really but, tired. Yeah, but I'm tired about this episode. I've actually lately taken to brushing my teeth in the shower. Oh. Because I like the hot water. <laughs> Two times a day, three or four. Three. No, like a few. Tell the teacher we're sorry. Um, yeah, oh, they totally are. They have them at a bunch of other universities, don't they? Like, they have them up at Colby, where my sister goes. They're cool. The university. I think or, it's a good idea. Why not? Cut water first. Uh, I don't know enough about them to be able to say yes or no. Oh, there's all there's first of all there's a sort of like solidarity aspect where it's like you can't just be wasting all this water and using whatever you want um, just put, and like at the same time as other people don't have water and also it takes a lot like once you use the water it takes a lot you can't just like you know use it again you have to go through the whole recycling process so it's still like wasted money and resources um, other than it's a good thing for the environment and that it just seems like something we should be doing not wasting lots of water uh, since other places don't have a lot, so. I think it's easier to start now before we get into a situation where it's really tight than to try to cut back on what's already out. I think people should be cognizant of uh, their, their water habits, but I, I don't think anyone should be up in arms. That I think in the next, like within the next 10 years, I think it's something like 35 or 40 states are expected to see a water shortage, and New Jersey is actually one of them. I think, well, I, what I really think is that people probably are less willing to try to make an attempt here to conserve water because it's not um, as immediate of a, of a problem here. People don't notice as much because there, there's not a drought here. The cost for installing these new areas is almost nothing. A minute to change, shower head, about a minute, minute to change. An aerator, maybe 30 seconds to change. It's like $1.50 or, or $2. And we just thought it would be easy to go around, test some of these sinks, and provide a baseline for the office of sustainability so they would know just how much water they could save. I really thought it was just a low hanging fruit looking at sinks, that there were some sinks that I just thought were egregious water wasters. So most of the changes are going to happen from improved technology, I think, and action on the part of the Office of Sustainability and the administration to change the fixtures. James was just telling us about the new aerators the university is implementing. These will save 1.5 gallons, and every time you use a sink, that's 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Another new low flow appliance is the uppercut toilet. Let's talk to faculty and students about this one. All the uppercuts for like a year and a half now, two years, and we've had no haven't had any issues. Everyone likes the nice green handles. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly honest, I know very little about them. I feel like five, six weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, I just showed up and there's new flushers on the toilet. Um, you know, I like the green handles, and I, I read their instructions, and I don't really know how they work, but I'm happy to... To put in that part. Yeah. Well, um, they installed it, I believe, after Christmas break, and it's really great, I think. Um, it saves water, which is awesome. Well, one was installed in my room over spring break, and I think they're really good. Because I don't know why you wouldn't think they're good. If it's saving water, then it's a good thing, right? Um, it's a waste of time. It's a green plastic handle. 
I don't like to think when I flush the toilet, I use my foot because you don't know who used that bathroom. It could be a dirty person. They might not wash their hands. Maybe their hand slipped through the toilet paper. So you can pick it up. Um, no, I'm not the karate kid thing. Sometimes you have to do like two flushes and I feel like that doesn't save any more water. Right, so it's like counterproductive in that sense. I would agree, and it causes more work for me. Have you ever looked at the difference in between the two flushes? Yeah, I didn't really notice that big of a difference. Exactly, but, it's not that big of a well, difference there probably I've is looked a at difference. it too. There probably is a difference. They wouldn't install it's it if there so wasn't a It's so little of a difference. Well, I think there's much. probably a better solution. I mm -hmm. think this is a step to get to the better solution, but yeah. they should keep looking. Here, it's a waste of my time. I mean, it takes half a second. <laughs> Using uppercut toilets saves 0.5 gallons on every flush that you make. That's a lot in the big picture, a whole five Olympic sized swimming pools per year. Next, we're going to look to showers on campus and student showering habits. Let's hear what they have to say about that. Usually my routine is I hop in, get my body wet, do my hair, it doesn't take too long, um, then my body. Okay, so does the water pressure of your shower make a difference for your showering experience? Yeah, I don't really need to care. So if it's not hard water pressure, I can't wash it. Otherwise, it just doesn't need to wash it all. Contrary to popular belief, low flow showers actually have equal, if not more, water pressure than regular showers, so you don't have to sacrifice your showering experience. Another option could be to turn off the water when you soap or when you shave. I think there's no real reason for me to have the shower on. Using low flow shower heads saves a gallon of water per minute. That's 15 gallons of water on average per shower. In the big picture, we're saving 250 Olympic sized swimming pools per year. Let's go surfing now. Obviously, being a greener university provides a much more uh, uh, value to the outside environment and the outside uh, community as a well. whole. So, if they you know pick up the habits and understand the knowledge of you know this is why it's important to save water, and here's it's these are easy ways you can do it right. with minimal sacrifices. So, I, I think it's important for students to conserve water, um, if for no other reason than as an education purpose. People don't care. A lot like, of people do. Mike, a lot of people care about this kind maybe, of stuff. Maybe. A lot of people do. Because it, like doing nothing is worse than trying to do a little bit of something. As you can see, low flow appliances are a great first step in curbing our water use on campus. But it's not going to come just from technology. Students need to be aware of their water using habits. And here are a couple tips on how you can curb your own water use. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how, come on a safari with me.